here today is a Sony uh, Feather Touch full logic control cassette player and a recorder. Uh, this was a big business back in the days, uh, not anymore uh, though, but uh, uh, this is uh, this was really advanced uh, technology back in the day, you know, uh, just like the CDs, they started to die as well, but that's okay, because we got USB uh, me memory cards now, so that's totally okay. Uh, so, um, as you can see here, we have these buttons. These are just tactile buttons. That's why it's called Feather Touch. Because you can touch it anywhere and it will click, click. So, really light, um, big buttons. Easy to use. Aluminum, which is also nice. So, this will be a premium uh, system um, feel back in the day, you know. Got some buttons here. Uh, got some buttons here. These are older type. Uh, choosing your tape. Okay. So that's good. Now uh, we also here have a counter. I don't know if you can see it, but if I click this button, it's going to go back to zero. So what it does, so when you reverse it uh, right here. Uh, it it counts uh, the revolutions of your tape, how much it uh, rewinded the tape back or forward, depending what you press. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we also got some things here. Uh, this is looks like a equalizer, which they obviously call peak level meter. Uh, okay, now moving here. Got our peak level meter right here, which is j just a bunch of LEDs, and then got these uh, potentiometer sliders here, which are which feel just fantastic, and it's also aluminum on the back, which is fantastic. I actually might make something out of these. Uh, we also have left and right microphone inputs. Which is a little bit unusual because I, I I never think that uh, they would use two channels for the microphone, but apparently they do. So on the side, mm, nothing interesting, boring. What we have uh, here is the back of uh, the unit, which is also uh, metal, but it's not aluminum. It seems like just a sheet metal actually, but that's okay. So we got our align input, align output, got some precautions, obviously. We also have a remote um, controller here, which I don't have, but uh, if I had it, I, I would show it to you, obviously. But uh, It probably has like a play and a stop and uh, re reverse uh, and forward uh, functions, most likely, but... Uh, we don't have it. Sticker here on the back. Uh, we've got some household audio video equipment. Got a number. Don't read the number. That's not good. Got a CSA approved sticker. Uh, this does look like a water damage sticker. But I don't know. Been under rain actually. So that's why it's red. Most likely. Got some Sony sticker here. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 13 watts. So this doesn't take more than your uh, compact fluorescent light, which is really funny. I'm just gonna take apart uh, this unit. Uh, there's only four uh, screws, okay? And uh, that should be actually pretty easy. Only four screws. That's a uh, that's an easiest uh, disassembly ever, actually, for me. Because usually, oh, I did have things that have one screw, but they were complete junk. This is, you know, this is proper, highly engineered. 
piece of equipment, which is cool. Four screws. That's it. All right, so we got our screws out and well, that's lifted and check out what we got inside. Uh, looks like it doesn't quite want to go. So. Uh, uh. Okay, are you ready for it? Bang, check it out. Check it out. This is some good stuff. So I well, know this transformer is actually not loose. It's bolted at the angle. Okay. So uh, it uh, looks like uh, we have a, uh, what is this? Uh, this is our uh, uh, remote control. Um, output got uh, our input and output for our audio and look at that oh no or actually oh yeah now I never seen someone use copper heat sinks on the transistor this is fantastic and I want to point out the board is so clean that it looks like it's brand new. It looks like it came out of a factory. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna lower my camera a little bit and show it you close. So we're in the closer, okay? And this is really interesting because like I said, I never seen copper heat sinks on this before. And you know what? It's not copper. Because my screwdriver is magnetic. and it actually sticks to it. So it's copper plated, but uh, that's cool. And also I want to point out, we have Sony a one, two, three, four, um, five here. Five Sony chips in a Sony player. This is fantastic. I'm. You can tell it's good. Like they use their own chips for this thing. You know it's good. Uh, it has to be good because they use their own parts. Um, there is also a Mitsubishi part here. It's kind of like straight, so you can't see it. Uh, lots of connectors. Uh, looks like it's uh, actually designed for uh, being serviced, which is cool. Uh, yeah, so check it out. So we have uh, trim pots, lots of capacitors, uh, capacitors made in Japan, uh, lots of capacitors, uh, small. Oh, the capacitor. These are plastic film capacitors. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are plastic film. Lots of uh, adjustable uh, things here. So we have adjustable resistor. We have adjustable inductors. Uh, we got some adjustable resistors there. Uh, these are transistors or MOSFETs. I have no idea. Uh, we have some. Uh, buttons here and check out the design they use for these things uh, a button actually goes from front panel here and when you push it it clicks that's a type of thing they use in oscilloscopes when you have a uh, button on the front panel and uh, you push it and it goes way there and that could click somewhere on the board. Uh, this is actually really cool. Uh, and that's about it. So uh, I don't see anything else interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. We have a relay. All right, guys. So can you see this relay right here? Yep. 
we have the relay as well as I can show you closely the buttons here so they come out on uh, this side and uh, when you press the buttons see how they come out I think that's a really cool a really nice solution guys so uh, I uh, kind of want to focus on this uh, power section uh, right here okay so uh, what we have is got these uh, outputs from our transformer right here going and uh, I want to point out that each of them has a dial I think that's a really interesting solution uh, well you need a diode anyway but hey you know it's 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 really interesting the way they actually did it so there's a diode on oh gotta actually move this so you can see it there's a diode and it's purple it's uh, it's a diode on each of the wires and then we have a whole bunch of caps and I believe that uh, these are just voltage regulators they must be just a voltage uh, regulator because hey it needs to regulate the voltage somehow and I don't see any uh, LM 7805 or 7808 or uh, 7833 or something like that I don't see it anywhere on the board so uh, it must be regulating the power through these uh, these packages I believe they can take up to 2 amps uh, no more so yeah that's about as good as you'll get uh, <laughs> 2 amps not much actually so mm, uh, yeah that, that's about it okay so this is uh, the transformer for those who want to see it so we have a transformer here of uh, the uh, windings are tapped off nicely to this cable really nice actually then we have this uh, two wires here which go to a switch on the front panel uh, I'm not gonna go into that uh, but uh, there's basically a, uh, a mauve or a camp hmm it's hard to tell uh, it's a mauve I think it's a mauve Yeah, it has to be more anyway if I'm wrong correct me in the comments uh, okay so it goes to the switch it gets powered on power goes there rectifies there uh, uh, there's uh, capacitors to um, smooth out all that and uh, transistors uh, regulate the voltage sounds good right so now I flipped the thing okay and uh, now we're looking on the other direction and the transformer is now here and that's the front panel pretty much so uh, there you can see uh, well we have our LED indicator here for our left and right channel and uh, uh, there you can see that's the driver uh, board for uh, that and the inputs go from here somewhere here and there are trim pots here for left and right channel uh, so you can trim um, uh, that uh, okay so there's also this drive here which you can see I'm moving this drive comes from way here and uh, it drives our uh, little mechanical counter which uh, tells us how many our revolutions our tape have made uh, uh, okay so we can see another uh, way of that's our switches okay uh, what's this this is really interesting uh, oh. yeah what's that let's get a close look at that this little thing 
uh, on there and I have no idea what it is sorry I had to take my camera in my hands because it wouldn't just fit here so as you can see we have two terminals and it looks like uh, we, we can put a screwdriver there and move it kind of trim it but uh, is it a variable inductor or a variable capacitor I don't know but that looks really, really interesting. I've never seen anything like that before, and I have taken a lot of things apart, but that's really strange. So for those who want to see the drive here that uh, turns your cassette, uh, okay, so there's lots of gears and, and, and whatnot. Uh, I'm not really a technician, but... Uh, I can see some really good solutions here and uh, um, you know I don't really want to go into all of this so we will stop here pretty cool uh, little uh, teardown here uh, we saw some really cool things like uh, copper plated heat sinks which are actually uh, uh, ferrous metal could be iron but I don't know uh, yeah and we saw some Kind of interesting things like that thing right there. I, I still have no idea what it is. I'm going to try to look if I find it. I'm going to put it in the comments. But uh, yeah, that that thing is really interesting. And I have to really take a look. That's about it for today. Uh, please like the video if you like it. Uh, and also subscribe to my channel to know when a new video comes up. And see you next time. Peace.